welcome to bioblog if you like this channel please share and subscribe today we are going to discuss about albert staining that is granule staining myself mohammad jasil assistant professor department of microbiology marcus arts and science college adavanad granule staining or albert stain it's a type of differential staining used for staining the volatile granules or metachromatic granules or food granules found in corn bacterium diphtheria appo corn bacterium diphtheria polulla bacterias il kaanapadna food granules allekil metachromatic granules ne stain cheyan vendittana albert staining method use cheyunu it is named as metachromatic because of its property to changing color metachromatic granules ne peru veran kaaranam chele color il change verthunna kondana metachromatic granules ennu peru veran kaaranam when they stain with blue they appear red in color that is known as metachromatic property when grown in low flow serum slope corn bacterium diphtheria produces large number of granules the corn bacterium diphtheria ne low flow serum slope le nammal valarthuna samayathu namukku endu kittunu granules kittunu what is the principle of granule staining albert staining is basically made up of two types of stains toluidine blue o or malachite green both of which are basic dyes with high affinity for acidic tissues the components like cytoplasm ee rendu dye um endana basic dye aanu they have high affinity for acidic tissues like cytoplasm the ph of albert stain is adjusted to to, to be 2.8 by using acetic acid which becomes basic for volting granules as ph of volting granules is highly acidic therefore on applying albert stain to the smear toluidine blue o stains the volting granules that is the most acidic part of cell and malachite green stains the cytoplasm blue green on adding albert's iodine due to the effect of iodine the metachromatic property is not observed and the granules appear blue in color then what are the composition of albert stain albert stain composed of two reagents first one albert ca and albert b solution the albert ca solution contains toluidine blue 0.15 g malachite green 0.20 g glacial acetic acid 1 ml alcohol is 95% ethanol that is in 2 ml then what is the procedure to make albert a dissolve the dye in alcohol and add to distilled water and acetic acid and allow the stain to stand for one day and then filter the solution add distilled water to make the final volume up to 100 ml then second reagent albert b solution iodine 2 g potassium iodide 3 g dissolve potassium iodide in water and then add iodine dissolve the iodine potassium iodide solution what are the requirements of granule staining glass light bacterial culture staining rock albert ca and albert b solution bloating paper sedar wood oil and microscope <coughs> what is the procedure of albert staining prepare a thin smear on a clean glass slide air dry and heat fix the smear then treat the smear with albert stain a and allow to react for 7 minutes first albert stain a solution ulkya react for 7 minutes kept for 7 minutes then drain of the excess stain do not water wash the slide with water the excess stain bloating paper which do you work water wash cheyan padilla then fifth step flood the smear with albert's iodine b solution for 2 minutes the smear in the albert's iodine solution b add ya kept for 2 minutes then wash the slide with water air dry and observe under oil emission objective that is slide water it wash ya observe under oil emission objective what is the result of albert staining if corn bacterium diphtheria is present in the sample it appears green colored rod shaped bacteria arranged at an angle to each other resembling english letter l v or chinese letter pattern along with bluish black metachromatic granules at the poles 
അപ്പോൾ ബാസിൽ എന്തായിരിക്കും പിന്നെ ഗ്രീൻ കളറിലും മെറ്റാക്രോമാറ്റിക് ഗ്രാനൂൽസ് എന്തായിരിക്കും ബ്ലാക്ക് കളറിലായിരിക്കും കാണപ്പെടുന്നത് സോ താങ്ക് യു ഫോർ വാച്ചിങ് ദിസ് വീഡിയോ ഇഫ് യു ലൈക്ക് ദിസ് വീഡിയോ പ്ലീസ് ഷെയർ ആൻഡ് സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് താങ്ക് യു